Well, Jim, here's your uh, your new big D10 brooder dozer all all complete. And as promised, I got a video here for you for making a video to show you how everything works. Here's your uh, Turn G9 channel radio. All of the switches are marked for your lights and the ripper and the uh, the beacon and the dome lights. Your three position switch here runs a sound system. The up runs a horn. And the down starts it. So if you leave the switch down too long, it'll just run the start. It won't actually start up. But if you hit the starter and then put it back to neutral, it will, it will start up. And the, uh, the right stick is your drive. That's down and backwards. You can lift the blade up here. Forward, backwards, right and left. And I get it turned at a little bit more of an angle here. Your left stick, throttle stick, is the blade up and down. And then your rudder, left and right, tilts the blade out, in and out. And neutral's about about where the blade should be when you're pushing. You can adjust the trim for the rudder. You can put that, you can make that neutral, whatever you like. If you find it, an angle that you like better to leave it at. And uh, this no top left knob here runs your ripper. You just twist that and that lifts the ripper, drops the ripper down. And if you drop the blade down the ripper down at the same time, that'll lift the whole machine up in the air. Now, I have the door 8 switches too set for the drive so that uh, if, you leave the, if you leave the door 8 switches down, it just makes the machine a little smoother and easier to operate. Let me lift this back up. So, for example, I have uh, this right switch that's marked uh, aileron door 8. I have that on low rate, which makes the steering a little softer. I should probably put a little more expo in it, because it's still a little touchy. And then I have the uh, this far left switch is your elevator dual rate. So that makes it, so now I have it on low rate. So that's full speed on low rate. And then if you go to high rate, let's say you want to drive, you know, 30 feet or 60 feet, here's high rate. So oh, it's fast enough, a pretty good speed on the high, the high range, high rate. And what else? So there's your lights. There's your beacon and your dome light here. And uh, the metal blade tip. Some white on the tip. It's, uh, but it's all brass and it's uh, glued and screwed. It's, so it's got uh, nuts and washers in the back going all the way through both, both pieces of plastic. So I don't think that'll come off, even if you, even if you push rods for a long time, I think that should hold up pretty good. And, uh, oh, your on and off switch is to the right of the driver. 
the cardinal switch right there. And then you set your volume to control. That's kind of hard to see, but it's right by his left left boot. You raise or lower the volume for the sound system. And the charging jack is right there. It's a uh, Dean's Ultra plug. And I'll be, I'll be sending a uh, charge cable with the machine that plugs right into your V6 charger. So you don't have to worry about having the right cables for it. Because I know you said you don't use those ultra plugs. And uh, it, I got, oh, it's the, um, I got metal, uh, I'm sorry, brass caps on all your mock idlers. This is Captain Brass and all these mock idlers across the bottom that are um, all Captain Brass. So that should last a long time. And, uh, and I even have, I'm sending you four extra, let me shut this off. I'm sending you four extra caps. In case a rock rip, rips one off, you can always put another cap back on it. And uh, the, the large idlers on the ends are all, I put brass bushings in all of them. And I explained to you over the phone how to oil those every once in a while. If they start to squeak, you have to oil those. good I ran it for probably about an hour or more just to make sure the drive's good and the, um, the, idler, the uh, brass idlers work fine and everything, everything works good on it and it pushes good that's a 15 pound uh, weight and the dozer itself weighs 15 pounds so that's a give you a pretty good idea how much it can push You won't, uh, you won't run out of power. I mean, it's got, you, you, I don't think you can even stop the tracks. Here, I use my, uh, <laughs> put my, put my boot out here and show you the, the strength of the drive. Now, this is a rubber floor, so it's, the track's got, the cleats of the track's got some really good traction. Speed too. It's pretty good speed. I turn the lights off, maybe less less glaring. But it's got pretty good speed. Here's your top speed on the and then low range. 